Hello, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us in beautiful Venice. May we begin with an introduction to your film, Behind the Mountains. Mm -hmm. What can people expect when they watch it? So, uh, in few words, let's say that it's a story of this guy who believed that he could fly. And it's more about an obsession. It's, uh, uh, something happened inside his body and it's like extraction, something is, uh, that he's feeling in his body inside, instinctively. And it starts like that. And where did you get the inspiration for, for the idea? And why was the it's story a very old tell? image that I had, that I'm, I think that uh, many other had, uh, because at that time I was dreaming about uh, the possibility of, of flying. Uh, it, not now, because I don't dream at all. I don't think that I still dream. But at that time it was a matter of just one image of this guy floating more than uh, flying. And, um, you know, what do you think you wanted to explore with this idea? Perhaps we're all trying to find a way to break free, you know, of the confines, whether that be societal or how the, the traditions we've been told yeah. to adhere to. But it's almost taking that and putting it in a more heightened way, yeah. you know, pushing that to an extreme. Yeah, yeah. We don't all have such a, a radical It answer. was exactly, you, you are using exactly the words because it's radical and it's extreme. And, uh, but at the same time, I wanted to not make it like Superman, who flies very good. So he's just trying to, he's learning, let's say. And the idea, the, the, the topic was more about... Uh, it's something that it starts physically, but it means that we are not good enough, or we are not good uh, anymore, uh, Pluto. We are feeling something that could change radically. And uh, even if we rely on our work, our family, our uh, husband or wife, something it's much more about uh, rejecting and extract our self and our lives to believe that something could be think th thought in a different way. Mm. And tell us about your wonderful cast, in particular who you have to play Rafiq, which I know you worked for previously on, on Heidi, is that right? So yeah. perhaps you already had a shorthand with each other, you know, how did that help in your collaboration and why was he right for the part? It was very hard because we were aware about our script and our character that it's not very sympathetic and it would be very hard to make it sympathetic as it's very violent. He kidnapped his son from the school, so we have made it a challenge to try to not uh, give the chance to make it uh, the hero classically in the classic way but no but in the same time try to build a sort of tender in this character so it's not only a matter of writing it's a, a, also in in details in looking in uh, acting so we did two months of rehearsal and uh, and after we rely also on uh, the child mm -hmm. because uh, they built uh, something about and it helped a lot. And um, in terms of how you worked on set, um, were there any particularly stand-up moments that were a highlight or something that was really challenging, perhaps the more technical aspects that you had to pull Unfortunately, off? yes, because I'm not a technical guy at all. And we start the first week with the all visual effects, which is, was very challenging and very annoying because I, I, I'm not a fan about, uh, of this kind of effects. But once we made it, the first week, we were more confident to just work now on the acting, on details. So we start with that. It was very tough this week because all the visual effect was done on the set in this mountain and uh, we tried to make it with the um, SFX, so uh, with this guy, with the, uh, it was very, not only dangerous, but uh, we were worrying about all this uh, structure that we, we, not, we are not used to it. And um, w when you watch it back now, do you have a favorite scene or, or a moment that you like the best? Favorite scene, it's more about uh, moment, little moment, when for example uh, he looked to the mother in the kitchen, how he looked to, to her and uh, yes, it's more about flash, two seconds here, two seconds there, <laughs> not a whole scene. And of course, 
taking in the landscapes as well and the locations and everything are, are very crucial. So what, how, was it important to you to capture that? Yes, we turn around this, the, this region in the north of Tunisia. And uh, by the end we find it in a very coincidence way because we are just taking time to, to discover more. And uh, at that time we discovered it when we were in summer, so it was uh, not the same green, not the same uh, palette of color. And hopefully after it, it, it's, uh, it works, I think. And what do you hope that people will take away? I mean, I guess in any film you're taken on the, the journey or transported, um, but you know, do you hope that people will start come out with you know reflections on their own life and yes exactly because as the second part is dealing with the, with the couple with the family with working with the psychanalyst with everything the, the, it's more about a modern issue uh, I hope that by the end we could have the naivety because it's uh, unfortunately naive to believe that tomorrow will be not better but to it will be different, mm. that there is something different. We could start thinking in some another way mm. of uh, life. I mean, do you think there's some irony in the fact that you could argue in this day and age, you know, we have so much more freedom than our parents and our parents' parents, yet we somehow still confine ourselves. And it sometimes feels like we're taking a step exactly. backward, that people are almost more conforming or more saying that you have to you know, abide by certain strictures yes, that's in order why it's to be not, accepted. Exactly, because I think that it's not only a matter of freedom, it's something in our humanity or on, uh, related to our behavior. Uh, around me, for example, in Tunisia, but I think that it's also the case everywhere, many people are on uh, burnout, are in depression, and they don't even know uh, from where start and how it began, if it's working, if it's the family, if the couple, so we are always keep asking ourselves to understand more and we are not finding any answers and it's very strange. Uh, in, in, in a very easy way, uh, people uh, put the, 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 the responsibility on the corona, the COVID, maybe, but I think that the, this period just uh, put the straight on something very new in our modern life that it doesn't work anymore and I don't know where we are going now but uh, we are we should be uh, ready to just explore other things and what does it mean to you to have your film here at Venice Film Festival ah, it's the first time in Venice so it's very uh, new and uh, I love it it's my second day unfortunately I'm saying just three days so I have to go back tomorrow but it's very beautiful really and it definitely feels like festivals like this you know, what great platform for cinema from all over the world. And, and do you see there's a lot of diversity? How do you see the health of the industry in your home country? And how, how much do you rate that festivals are, like this are important to bring different that, audiences? Yes, I think that Venice, because it's, it's not the first time that uh, Tunisian film came here. So they are, uh, they are daring to take uh, new kind of film from our region to not always being focused on the expected Arab film. Mm. So they give maybe the chance to uh, genre, to thriller, to anything. Mm. In the same time, we are trying to, to tell stories and uh, related to our context, but not only. The, the way that we, 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 we tell story is different. Mm. And Venice give us the opportunity to put light on this kind of film. Mm. And can you quickly tell us what you might be working on next? Do you already have an idea for your next film? I have just notes. It's very vague for the moment, but for the moment I'm not sure about anything. We work on the same actor again, or are you? Mm, not sure. <laughs> You're tired of each other I'm now. I'm No, I'm fed up. <laughs> it's okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Thank and you. And really enjoy the rest of your time here in Venice. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good festival for you.